Hey guys, welcome back. It's Carter Bitsby Trippin in the studio. Let's get into this. We're gonna be talking sensors today on putting them in our deployed containers and seeing if these things will work. These are from Ubiquity. We had some lessons learned even purchasing them to get the right equipment that would work together. Let's take you guys into this one. So before we deploy these things, let's take a quick look at the packaging that you get when you order, like let's say a three pack of these units. So you get three sensors and you these connect via Bluetooth. So you need to have a Bluetooth enabled wireless access point. And in this case, we have the U6 long range from Ubiquity. Now this device is about $179 and a three pack of the protect sensors roughly are $59 each times three. So essentially $169 on top of that. So right underneath $400, you essentially get three sensors and you can get the wireless access point that has the Bluetooth in to support them. We got 12 of these and we're gonna have two of these U6 long range that we're gonna be deploying into the two containers. So these are 40 foot containers and they're about 12 feet apart from each other. So now you're talking 52 feet from the farthest potential sensor to the next uh, set of sensors in the farthest container. So, you know, with that much of a spread, these Bluetooth's not really that good past around 60 feet. So, you know, and that's in like a clearing. So you really need to have the coverage with a couple units if you're spreading out that far. But I'd always say start with one unit and see if it makes it there for you and then uh, you know, for your own application, if you're going to use these again, this is not like paid sponsored or anything like that. This is just us purchasing them and maybe they work for your particular setup, but these things will detect motion up to five meters. It's about 16 feet. They handle temperature and humidity sensing. They also have ambient light sensing and uh, an alarm sound sensing. So if it hears an alarm going off, it'll pick that up and then notify you. Uh, also, it has a door or a window state sensing, meaning like there's a little connector that you can put next to it that comes with it that if the, you know, a door is open or a window is open, it will then set it off to show an open or close status. So that's kind of nice. So when we look at this easy setup here, essentially the moment these things are uh, the battery uh, stoppers pulled. So there is a little piece of plastic that you pull to you know, kick the battery off. You will immediately pick them up on Unify's app that you put on your phone. It will detect it and then you just add it as a new sensor. You can give it a name. I would recommend doing these one at a time. For us, we went and just pulled all the devices, put them in place, and essentially we just set all of them up. So now we have to use the locate feature to let them know if they're in which container and what position they're in. But it was a very quick and seamless setup. The actual setup and install went very quickly. And now we're at a state of just seeing how we're gonna take the telemetry that these things give and be able to map that with some of our, you know, fan CFM settings. I hope you guys found this video uh, interesting um, as we get through the setup and configuration of collecting those logs from Ubiquity and then mapping those in, essentially into a chart that shows the minor temperatures and what they've been, we can start to understand the profiles that we need to set up for our fan. So you're probably wondering why did we not just go with VLTs that have like temperature sensing in them? These are what came with the container. So there is six per container and you know that's 24 of those vlts those things cost about 900 bucks a piece like ones with temperature sensors around 1200 bucks a piece so you can do the math of how much that money i mean 24 times 12 to 1500 bucks um it's quite a bit this was far less this is 400 dollars um almost 500 dollars if you count the two waps um and we will be able to just stitch that together with software so I think we can achieve a much cheaper solution here. And if you have a smaller farm or even like your house, these units may uh, meet your intent, right? So uh, I always look for a, you know, cheap, uh, low cost alternatives from the retail market. And I think that's what Ubiquity is providing here. So I think after a six month test, we can give you guys kind of a recap on that and see what you guys think. Thanks again for liking and subscribing. Don't forget, we are going to be out at Miners Disrupt next week. 
So if you guys are out there, come see us. We're going to be roaming. You'll see uh, Todd, myself, Samantha, Tim. We'll all have our BBT logoed shirts on. And we are giving away some shirts out there. So if you guys see us, we'd love to say hey to you. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.